Now we are at the central of base. But now we have the power of the two switches to get to Bowser. So yeah, we can go to the base now. Anything on the other side of it? Ah, uh, it's probably just where he side exit. Let's go into his base. <laughs> Why do we have a mushroom? What do we need to do with it? Just go down. Oh, go oh. you can actually pass through that. Cool. I thought this was actually a wall and I was trapped, but no. Boss fight? Yep. It's a boss. A lot of fire and stuff. Okay, there's no Wendy. There's a lot of fireballs, that's for sure. And we killed Wendy in the central base. Are we done? Yes, we whoa. Star Road. Bowser's Tower. Oh, yeah. We're not done yet. <laughs> we are not done yet. Now we can go after Bowser. That was just a little intro level. This is the real thing. Bowser's Tower in the Star World. This is gonna be the real thing. Now, how hard is this gonna be? So far, not bad at all. Oh, that was just the intro room. Oh, this is slippery? Jeez. And then again with the freaking bulbul just does that. Gotta just go after Bowser in his base or whatever and just finish this and then that'll be- Oh, come on! And that'll be SNW Returns, like, most of it anyway, that'll be good enough. We gotta kill Bowser in his base, though. We gotta get there. <laughs> By the looks of it, it's not gonna be too easy, though. Considering there's all these flames and dangerous things that want you dead other men, want you to die, and don't want you getting into his base. But we will get into his base, because yes, we can. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought I was gonna. Uh, yay! These bullet bills are back! Yay, diagonal bullet bills! I really miss the, I really miss these things. I'm really beginning to miss seeing them in ROM hacks. Except this is looking to be a little hard now. Yep, <laughs> yeah. These things are awesome. Okay, what's uh, okay, this is a weirdly colored warp pipe that we can go into. Cool. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's just you. We need to start breaking all the right blocks. I'm wondering how big this level's gonna be, though. That's, like, what's making me nervous. How big is this gonna be? How long am I gonna spend trying to beat this? And these turn blocks don't wanna break, please. <laughs> I guess I better let them break them. Why do I keep killing them? And now we need to wait for them to show up so we can break some more blocks. I don't get it. I don't get what I'm doing. And we need to move! Okay, Koopa's gone. That's bad. That's Sprite Memory Error right there. And wait, is this Bowser already? Are we already fighting the same Bowser? Same boss fight as usual. Except it's slippery, as you can see right now. Except it was slippery. Other than that, it's the same thing, pretty much. So no point in even recording it anymore. I think sorry from now on, I won't record that fight anymore, because, yeah, you've seen it enough already. If you've been watching all my videos, of course you've seen it enough. Credits? Unchanged. Continue to SNW R2, except not. Other than that, the credits weren't changed. There is a sequel to this ROM hack, and this. Whoa! The Pokey head was screwed up. I mean, the Pokey had like a block instead of its normal head. Thus, inventing the term blockhead. 
Everything else is largely unchanged. Except for the water, which looks freaking bad. Largely unchanged. Ending. And the game's over. SMW Returns is pretty much finished. Now we gotta rate it! Now we shall let the hammer of the verdict fall. But it probably won't get crushed into pieces by it. So, yeah. Rating time. Okay, I, I I like this. It's a change from all the easier stuff I've been playing recently. It definitely is that challenging hack you're looking for. Pretty cool it was done with custom sprites before sprite tool was even a thing. So I wonder how you inserted the sprites back then in 2004. I really don't know. But you lost points for repeating some sections of your level. If I could open this up in Lunar Magic, I'll show you exactly what I mean. What's the rating going to be, though? The ratings on Luigi's Adventures were quite high. In fact, I'd say those got a high enough rating to be considered excellent, but this, not so much. Just due to the fact that it repeats stuff. But then again, I think Anakiti may have not been as good as he is now, considering, yeah, he was building hacks too back in the day. Apparently, KT and Anakiti were really good friends and really inspiring one another back in the days of Akamum's board, which I'm still not so sure how to pronounce. Back in the days before Super Mario World Central was even a thing and all the hacking stuff, Super Mario World hacking was done on Akamum's board. I think the board is still up, but not much goes on there anymore. It's like, it's like a desert now. Okay, now I'm starting to get off topic. Rating. I mean, the level design was interesting enough, even if it did get repetitive at points. But it did get repetitive, I guess I'll just say, uh, I don't know. Yeah, awkward moment of silence, as I give a... 75%. Yeah. 75. I would've gone higher, honestly, but I just can't. You pretty much gotta do every level as well, or almost every level. I thought you had to actually complete every level to beat the game, but no, that's not the case. You'll be doing most of them. You gotta uncover two switches, which go on alternate routes. Which one goes on that dreaded Blizzard Garden World. Probably that one level I couldn't beat. So yeah, Bowser, all your base are now belong to Mario. Game over. Bowser has made it to die. It is all done.